Good day, Messiah Lutheran family and friends. Today is December 11th, 2020, and it's time for another letter from an understanding friend. But as we have been doing all throughout this pandemic and these video devotions, we start with a prayer from the additional prayers collected at the beginning of our worship hymnal, Evangelical Lutheran Worship. Today's prayer is another prayer for young persons. So let us pray. Lord God of our ancestors, we thank you for what you have done and will continue to do with our daughters and sons. Walk with them in life and keep the evil one from obstructing their path. You see all, you know where the water is deep. Keep them from danger, order their steps and guide their feet while they run the race of faith. May the good work that you have begun in them be brought to completion at the day of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, amen. Today's letter is written to us again by Father Isaiah's powers as if Jesus were writing to us while he was on his road to Jerusalem. And today's letter is for situations when people won't accept you unless you fuss over them. But first we read from the Gospel of Luke. As he continued on his journey, the apostles said to Jesus, increase our faith. And he said, if you had faith, you could say to the sycamore tree, be rooted up and it would obey you. Then he observed, if you had a servant plowing or tending sheep, would you say to him when he has come in from the field, come at once and sit at table? Would you not say to him instead, prepare supper for me and put on your apron and serve me till I eat and drink and afterward then you shall eat and drink? Does the master thank his servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that is commanded, you say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. Today's letter was written somewhere in Judea after supper on November the 10th. Dear disciple, my friend, as you see, it's been quite a few weeks since I've written to you. The fact is my last big battle with discouragement left me somewhat drained. I was too weary to write. Besides, I've had much to do and I'm pressed for time, so I'm devoting most of each day to teaching my disciples. But I want to tell you what happened today. First, my apostles asked me to increase their faith. They have seen that I can work more cures and do greater miracles than they can. They wanted to find out why. They wanted to improve and to grow in grace. And that is precisely the fond desire of so many good people. Good people want to improve and they like to help others. At the same time, they're actually responding to the needs. Their kindness is spontaneous and commendable. But then afterwards, they want to be praised for what they have done. That is when they can poison the good instincts that they began with. I'm not faulting them and I'm not faulting you for feeling bad when people treat you as a nobody after you are kind to them. You can't help but to feel manipulated as though you were a thing and not a person. At such times, remember my parable don't expect compensations for being kind. When you're appreciated, fine, all well and good. When others notice what you've done and thank you for it, or thank you in practical ways by assisting you, fine. During those times, I rejoice with you, but don't expect it. Rewards will come later, much later than you think. Keep going. Your faith will increase as long as you guard yourself against discouragement. I pray for you now that you'll continue to grow in my discipleship. And this is my prayer for you. Lord God, my Father, look with love upon my disciples, my friends. They always seem to start so well, and then they falter. They get so down 
when others don't make a fuss over them, when their hopes to be appreciated aren't satisfied. Encourage them so that they will not grow weary in doing what is good and what is right. Let their faith increase. Let their patience withstand the lack of human consolations. Let them continue even better than they began, to love with never a thought of gain, to live without a complaint about bad treatment. Amen. Love Jesus. We remind you that this weekend coming up is in-person worship. There are still places remaining and a reservation is required. If you wish to attend in person and need to make a reservation, you may do so by visiting our website at www.messiahnfm.com. Right there on our homepage, you will find a sign up for our in-person worship services. For those of you who are still a bit weary of going out in public because of the virus situation, the service will be live streamed on our Facebook channel at 9.30 a.m. and then will be archived for later viewing on Facebook and YouTube later in the afternoon. If you are not receiving our emails on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with our video devotion from a member of our pastoral team and you wish to do so, you may sign up on our website again, www.messiahnfm.com. We remind you that coming up this Sunday, no, December the 13th at 5.30 p.m., we have a Messiah and More concert presented by the Fort Myers Symphonic Master Singers outdoor concert in our parking lot. No reservations are required. Bring your own chair and masks will be required. Once again, thank you. And until we see you again, either in one of our recorded virtual services or live and in person, peace be with you. Have a wonderful day.